Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install Postgres Linux Mint. Open terminal. Let's verify whether this is Linux Mint or not. More slash etc then OS hyphen release. See, we have installed Linux Mint and its version is 21. Okay. And its type is Ubuntu Debian. Now, First step we have to update the packages information. Simply clear screen by pressing control and sudo apt get update. We have successfully updated the packages. Now install the postgres by running the command sudo apt install postgres equal postgres equal hyphen contrib then press enter type y and enter See, it is installing Postgres equal 14. We can verify after this installation completion. See, installation has been completed. Now, first we have to check whether Postgres equal is started or not. By running the command sudo systemctl status Postgres equal. See, it is active and running. Also, notice here it is service is enabled. If it is not enabled, we have to run sudo system ctl enable postgres equal. Now, if you want to stop, just give sudo system ctl stop postgres equal. It is stop. Let's verify. See, it is inactive. Okay, we can also verify by running the command ps-ef grep postgres. See, it is not giving any PID information. Now start it again. sudo systemctl start postgres sql. It is started. Let's verify. See, it is started. Also, we can verify by also we can verify whether it started or not by running the processes command. That is ps clear screen ps hyphen ef grep postgres. I have to give pipe symbol. See, process is started before it before it has given nothing now here it has given the list of the processes running for the user postgres see check pointer background writer wall writer auto vacuum launcher stats collector and logical replication launcher see this is the main directory and this is main directory this this is the configuration files location let's connect to postgres sudo su sudo su hyphen postgres now we have switched to postgres user now run the psql to connect the postgres sql see psql shell version is 14 also this is the postgres sql version let's verify i am clearing screen select version Sorry, we have to give parenthesis. Select version. See, we have installed Postgres equal 14.5. The next immediate step is the next immediate step is we have to set the password for Postgres user. Alter user Postgres. This is the super user. 
with with password provide any password we have successfully set the password for the user postgres if you want to create a database just give first verify list of the databases slash l whatever the command started with slash l are called as meta commands see i have only three databases those are the default databases comes with the postgres equal instance also verify list of the users by using slash du see there is only one user that is postgres if you want to create a new user you have to give create user james with password we have successfully created let's verify slash du see one more user is added in the similar way we can create a database create database and database name here i am giving database name as r2 schools let's verify slash l or simply give select that name from pg underscore database see we have new database added that is r2 schools okay this is the new database if you want to find the log file or config file information just give show config underscore file see this is the configuration file this file contains postgres equal server configuration settings information just copy it slash exclamation more then paste that one see these are the settings okay i'm clearing screen by pressing control f Again, show if you want to find HBA con file that is host based authentication file. Show HBA file. See, it contains. Let me verify. Copy this one. Slash exclamation. Then more or cat any command. See, here we have to provide host name, database name username addresses and authentication type authentication methods okay clear screen by pressing control l now we are in postgres database if you want to switch to newly created database that is r2 schools just give slash c r slash c r slash connect then database name both are same slash the above command we have given slash c we can also give slash connect then database name see we have switched to again postgres until now we have seen how to install and configure the postgres sql server on linux slash q2 so we have seen how to install postgres sql on linux mint for more postgres sql server videos please subscribe my channel thank you